hello, 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 and welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K, and this is a collective energy read. Now is the time for karma. Now is the time for people to dig deep. Now is the time to get clear with yourself about right from wrong, good from bad, moral from immoral, okay? Because people can create great things into the future right now, be it romance and love or business and finance. So now is the time to make the highest, best decisions, not only on one's own behalf, but on the behalf of those whom by which they're connecting with moving forward at this time. So I laid a quick spread with the um, OSHA Zen deck and I did a circle spread real quick to clarify these energies I was feeling rather heavily this morning. So remember, we are a collective. So as we think negative thoughts, negative things will continue to compound you, right, with that energy. Um, but if you think positive thoughts and you start to say, I know what I want to create, I know who I am, I know which direction I'm going, I'm excited about the future because of what I'm working on day to day. For I have found peace, joy, and contentment. And every day I say to spirit, I'm sending positive energies out into the world. Because there have been a lot of people who have been saying society's a mess, things are falling apart, right? And that was all negative energy that brought things to this pinnacle. This bowl is what I was feeling, this bowl of people. All right, so in the center of the circle spread, we do have the tower card right off the bat. So this is obvious, right? This is the pandemic. People are recognizing uh, not only the shocking experiences in their outer world, but self-observation and recognition, good or bad, is what the energies are being forced or are forcing from as the results of our path, okay? Because we can't blame God. We were put in an infinite cycle of learning because the harsh parts of life is what makes us find our true self-awareness. So in the thoughts position, um, we'll say in the, I'm gonna keep this all around the month of May. We do have someone here, maybe many people thinking with the three of wands energies, I am indeed putting a lot of time and effort in. I've put in the last three plus years to creating something I really enjoy. You guys may be thinking about that a lot and you're experiencing what? A shocking realization of some form of commitment, partnership, or contract. Good or bad, the choice is up to you to make the highest, best decision, right? Or we choose for the karmic wheel to go in reverse. For now is a time for a lot of people where the wheel of fortune is going to start to turn in their favor, but they cannot and should, well, the spiritual advice in the relationship sector to another or others is the sorrow energy. This is bringing an end to things that have been weighing on someone's back uh, weighing on someone's mind. So this is a month to really focus on the ripeness of who you are, how far you have come. For a lot of people, if you continue to create that which fulfills you, right, your sole purpose, what it is you're passionate about in this moment of pause, you may realize that through your efforts, you are starting to receive success coming in that you've been thinking about. So for some, this is gonna make sense that you need to recognize what's been weighing you down and what really victory means to you. Write down victory in the chapter of 2020 means this, a solid foundation in my home, a solid foundation in a relationship, a solid foundation where I'm creative and content and joyful and happy each and every day, where I sit in the energies of peace because I know that nine represents the ending of something in the area of another or others. So again, creatively, wishes coming true with the nine of pentacles energy as this person takes action to resist is what I'm hearing for some. So I'm feeling like this is for committed partnerships. This is taking action to recognize this is just a little teenager who's thinking about a prince on a white horse for, you know, Fantasy and illusion is fun if it's in your own mind, but some are being guided to be careful of taking action to go towards fantasy and illusion, right? It's time to get grounded right now 
and get clear about our, each of our own personal journeys and successes ahead that we're creating at this time. So in the emotional aspects position, we have friendliness, right? The two of cups. So if a person follows spirits in this uh, advice in this video, meaning at each time you come back and listen to the video, write down what it is you are hearing. And at the end of the video, ask yourself, why did I write this down? How does what I wrote down pertain to me at this point in my life? And what have I learned about myself because of what I wrote down? Am I working on a creative project? Am I focused on my future? For spirit wants to bring you into connection with another where you plant seeds and then you root and connect because you emotionally recognize that something is coming of your efforts. For a lot of people now, things will start to move forward. Business is going like uh, my grandparents, God bless their souls, uh, they passed around the time that computers really were starting to get more, to become more. I mean, this is before cell phones. And now we're doing business on cell phones. We're doing business via internet platforms. So people are going to have to uh, really get clear with who they are, find that inner truth, and create something in whatever internet platform they so choose. So with 8 billion people, there's going to be 10, 20% of those people who are guided to the guided to the cabinet maker, who are guided to the bread baker, right? Um, and it's all about equal give and take, trusting and prayer, putting everyone on the same platform, which is awesome. So in the subconscious position, look at we've got the Queen of Wands energy. She's excited about life. She is creating and she's sharing with others what she's creating and she's recognizing what others are creating and she continues to set goals and meet goals. Why? Because he or she has recognized that, that something transpired that shook things up, that made them think about, am I happy where I'm at? But remember, your efforts will bring a fortune to you with the Three of Wands energies and through your efforts in May, whoever chooses to follow Spirit's advice, as you create something that you are passionate about, some of you are gonna find yourself day to day climbing into position, the position of a CEO business owner, right? So you learn something about essential oils and you create your own combinations and you get the labels and then you sell them to people and you take that feedback or people who communicate or spirit's way of bringing that feedback to you, positive or negative. It helps you to learn what you need to tweak and change. And even if you sold one bottle, you are now a business owner, right? You're now a CEO, which is maybe shocking in itself this month because Somebody is jumping from an idea and applying their energy to actually compressing that energy through action steps and prayers to bringing that idea into the physical universe. Recognizing how quickly something evolved in a profitable way because either someone took action to use their imagination and write a romance novel we need to talk about the inner strengths position for the collective. Spirit is giving everyone the strength to not carry the four of pentacles energies of clinging to your finances, of worrying about your finances, of clinging to uh, what you have and not sharing with another or others. Some of you, if you're single, maybe connecting with someone and there's a lot of fantasy and illusion and spirit saying we're giving you the strength of the four of pentacles to to recognize if someone is closed off either emotionally spiritually or financially for then you know it's a fantasy for some you're being shot you're coming into a shocking realization whoops that uh, someone you thought could be yours is what caused this pain in the relationship sector. 
But again, the nine is about the end of a journey. It's like you've learned what you've needed to learn through a path, a person, a connection, circumstance, situation, like the pandemic. And now, if you'll remember each day to set goals and meet goals and apply your imagination in your own personal journey with an open heart to others, that spirit's giving you the strength to go towards. You could very well recognize a shocking realization of abundance because of a contract commitment or partnership. So I know that's a lot of information. I'm going to continue to try and summarize as I am clarifying the messages from Spirit. So in a three card spread to my left, we've got the beginning of May, right? Thinking about unhealthy people, places, circumstances, situations, or environments. Thinking with energies of the Seven of Cups. So we had someone in the past, some form of fantasy or illusion, and now we have fantasy and illusion wanting to move forward, knowing that something was an unhealthy connection. But again, there's an aha moment here for some in May where they say, you know what, I mastered a previous journey, and now I can slowly and steadily move forward into a new direction because of the wisdom I have acquired. I can free myself from that which was hurting me that I was holding on to. And now by mid-May, we have the Four of Wands and the Empress. The ability to take the Empress's energy, whether it's a mother figure, a wife for some, either you or someone else during this month is manifesting and with the major arcana the empress spirit is helping this person to manifest to give birth to a person place circumstance situation or environment so that you can build whoever's energies these are know that you can manifest spirits helping you to manifest the four of wands which is a celebration in the area of home, family, or business. Yep, look at that. Wishes are coming true, and here comes that very playful energy. Now, when we become successful, the first test that comes is that test of pride and ego, right? We want to be proud of what we're sharing with the world, but we don't want to fall in energies of ego. So that makes someone start to think about someone tied to their past, trying to make new wishes come true and instantly putting on their your armor with the Knight of Swords energies. I want a wish come true, but I'm protecting myself. Why? Because I know this is a very karmic time, okay? So we've got the Wheel of Fortune showing up. Beautiful. We're all being guided with the Four of Swords energies during the month of May is what I'm feeling. If you start to recognize what you want at a distance, first thing you need to think of is, is this right or wrong? Is this good or bad? Is this moral from immoral? For you're going to have the energy during the month of May to pause and reflect before taking any action. And in the meantime, connect out with the world with the Ten of Pentacles energy. Look deeper with the moon at what it is you're creating in the world. For we all have our own unique individuality, right? Our own passions, our own way to tweak an idea. Yeah, hearts are opening up with the King of Cups energies and someone is starting to recognize I'm okay in the day-to-day. -day. Because I learned with the number eight, eight of pentacles, about how self-sabotage caused stress in my life. So you're being guided, everyone, <laughs> during the month of May to look for and at new possibilities or offers, especially in the area of financial and things of the material. So we can ground ourselves in contentment in that area. Now, as soon as people start to receive a lot of abundance with this new idea via the internet and et cetera, advertising, marketing, doing commercials, about your own personal home location and your own personal business. Yes, it's a tough thing to recognize with these messed up thoughts, but the blessing is the message. Messages are going to come for people and it's going to bring understanding. It's gonna bring them out of this shocking realization of the pandemic, right? Or of what they're learning about themselves. 
So even more beautiful. Spirit is staying with the hanging man or the hanged man energy as a major arcana. We're going to help you to stop and look at things from every perspective. Who do you want to come into commitment or partnership with for the next 10, 20, 30 years? For Spirit wants to give you the Ten of Cups energies, which is a happily ever after. So what are your goals and intentions during this month? And how are you going to continue to set goals and intentions? As you patiently wait for Spirit to bring love to you if you're single. For we need to be very happy, content, stable, and secure, even if we're alone, because Spirit wants to feel that positive energy through us. But if there's negativity, now's the time to clear it and to start setting up goals and intentions via the internet. Should this uh, pandemic go on for two, four years, you know, you're always going to be able to come back what you enjoy, what you're passionate about, ship it out through one of the many internet platforms, Etsy, Amazon, and so on, and then line up your bank account with PayPal, for example, and drop that money into your bank. Out of 8 billion people, people are going to search and find one another. As long as you trust in prayer and give out positive thoughts and energy, spirit will bring that back to you tenfold. So if these messages have resonated and you have further questions and or would like your own personal energy read, feel free to write me at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer a one month, three month, six month and yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the Easter special, which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. So thank you for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so very, very much. To those of you whom have continued to donate to my channel, uh, remember to click the little bell below for I am spiritually led to do these readings when the timing is right. So as soon as I download them, if you click on that bell, you will be notified first thing as I release uh, the others, another more in the future. Take care and God bless.